Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we will discuss about a pattern program. Here in this pattern we will ask the user to enter an odd length number. For example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It contains 5 digits right. So it is an odd length number. 5, 4, 3, 2. It is an even length number. 1, 2, 3. This is the odd length number. So we'll ask the user to enter an odd length number and next we need to print the digits of that number in the X shape. For example, if we take input as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then we need pattern like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4 and 5. This is the first pattern. And the second pattern is, we need to mention and here 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Today we will discuss these two pattern. So to write this pattern, first we need to take the user input. That is, we need to ask the user to enter odd length number. For that, in the Python file, I'll take a variable called num. And I'll take input using input function and here I'll print a message enter an odd length number. We'll use input function to take input from the user. So here we need an integer number that's why I used int function to convert entered input to integer because here we are using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as string. But here we want integer that's why we used int function and we'll store that entered input in the variable called num. Next, so we can write our pattern like this, okay, number of column and number of row. So this is row and this is column. In some row and column I want number, in some places I want space. So to print number in this form, we need two for loop. One for loop is for row and another for loop is for column. So we need to use nested for loop and the outer for loop will be for row. Inner for loop will be for the column. That is we'll print number like this. First in the row zero, we'll check for column zero. Row zero, column zero. Row zero, column one. Row zero, column two. Row zero, column three. Row zero, column four. After completing one row, we'll go to the next row, row 1, column 0, row 1, column 1, row 1, column 2, like that. That's why the outer for loop will be the row for loop, inner for loop will be the column for loop. I'll take two for loops. Here I'll use range function, okay. Here I need to mention how many rows I want in my output. Here i is a variable and this for loop is for row and I need to mention how many rows I want in my output. Here we can see this pattern contains 5 rows that is row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 total 5 rows and 5 column right. So here the input is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so, so the digits present in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 5. So that's why our pattern contains 5 rows and 5 columns. The number of rows and column in our pattern is depends on the number of digits present in this number. So that means to find out the number of rows and column of the pattern, we need to find out the number of digits present in the given number. So to find out the digits present in the number, there is a length function in Python, but we can use that function on strings or list. We can't use that on the integer number here num is an integer value we can't use length function on that so that's why I'll convert my input to string and I'll apply that length function on that so here we want how many digits present in the given number so for that we need to find out the length of that number right so to find out the length we can use length function but we can't apply that length function on the integer value that's why I need to convert my input to string you can use str function and you can convert this or you can remove this int function. As I explained earlier, this input function by default take input as string. So here 
when I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will treat that as string and it will store that in variable. So I'll take string input from the user and I'll store that in the variable num. And here I'll take a variable to store the length of the string num. I'll take variable name as length and I'll use length function on num. So here num is a variable which holds string value now. So we can find out the length of string value using len function. So I'll apply this and I'll store that result in the length variable. Next here I'll use zero to length. So for example, if I enter num as one, two, three, four, five, so we'll get length as five. So the range will be from zero to five. So we'll get zero, one, two, three, four as row. That's what we want right here we can see. Next I need to take the for loop for column. So here I'll take j as variable. Here also I'll take same range because number of row and number of column is same. Here we can see we want 5 rows and 5 column right. So that's why I'll take like this. Next here I need to write the condition. That is, I want to print digits of the number in the X shape. So to print in the X shape, here we can see in some places we want to print the numbers and in some places I want to print space. To do this, I need to take a condition if else conditional statement. First, I'll take if condition and I'll write where I want to print numbers in which row and column I want to print numbers. First here we can see we want to print numbers here in the diagonal right row 0 column 0 this is at row 1 column 1 this is at row 2 column 2 this is at row 3 column 3 this is at row 4 column 4 so that is nothing but when row is equal to column I want to print numbers right so the first condition is I'll check whether i is equal to equal to j here i is nothing but the variable for row j is nothing but variable for column so this is the first condition next i'll take another condition because we want to print numbers here also right so for that we need another condition that's why here i used logical or in the case of logical or if any one of the condition this condition or the condition which i'll write now if any one of this condition is true it will print the number for the next condition here we can see we want to print here here, here, here and here. So for that I will form a formula. So here we can see this place is nothing but when i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 4. And this is when i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 3. For this it is already printed. So you can ignore this or you can include this. If i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 2. This is when i equal to 3, j equal to 1. This is when i equal to 4 and j equal to 0. So now in this case, if I add i plus j, we'll get 4. In every situation, if I add i and j, I'll get result as 4. Here we can see 0 plus 4, 1 plus 3, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 0. So I'll write the condition like this. If i plus j is equal to equal to 4, then print the number here. So my condition is i plus j is equal to equal to 4. But here we are writing a general program. So it should work for all the input. That's why I can't take 4 here. Here this sum is 4 when the input length is 5. If length is something else, then here we'll get some different result. Instead of 4, I'll take length minus 1. So if uh, length is 7, then I should get here 6. 4 is nothing but length minus 1. Length is 5, 5 minus 1, 4. So instead of 4, we need to mention length minus 1. If any one of this condition is true, then print num i end is equal to space okay so why num of i that is because here i want to print these two pattern first we'll consider this pattern okay so this is num now so here in the in the zero row i want to print one 
in the first row i want to print 2 in the third row i want to print 3 in the in the fourth row i want to print 4 in the last row i want to print 5 it is depend on the row value present in the same row of different column is same here in the row 0 column 0 and column 4 i want to print 1 in the row 1 at column 1 and column 3 i want to print 2 in a row for example row 0 in a different column that is column 0 column 4 i want to print same value that is 1 that's why here i need to take num of i for the different value we need to take num of j that i'll explain you later here end is to keep the control in the same line here i'll take end as space so after printing one value it will give space between the values next i need to take else part if that condition become false i need to print space so space end is equal to again space next i'll use a print function in the first for loop that is the for loop for row that is because after each row i want to go to the new line here after printing one row i want to go to the new line right so that's why i used this print function now we'll save this and run this here we can see the output so if i take something else we'll get like this if the length is 3 okay you need to enter an odd length number now if i take num of j we'll get second pattern One two three four five five four three two one. Okay. So when number is one two three four five. So if I mention num of i. So that is depends on the row. So it will give same value in the row. If you want different value in the row like one and five right i want different value but i want same value in the column like this one and one here we can see five and five two two four four three right so for that i need to use num of j if you want same value in the row of different column then i you need to use num of i if you want same value in the column then you need to use num of j so this is about this pattern that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.